Farewell, my friend. We shall see you once again. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. So, Carl has gone over the uh, the safety. Everyone's got their armpits in place. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall be... <laughs> ...to lighten the mood. So we'll be on our way now. Um, so, uh, just to outline the... Uh, the itinerary of the day, uh, we're going to be heading out through the city centre now, um, hopefully for, for good traffic, and then out onto the highway, um, and then driving towards Luxembourg, uh, where we do our tour uh, around lunchtime today, and then continuing on to the ED to start our cruise of the uh, Moselle, the Rhine, and the Main. So, um, from now, we'll be on our way, and it's going to be about two to two and a half hours drive. Uh, we will get to a place called Reims, and uh, Reims is uh, about halfway stop, and then at that stage, we will be making a comfort stop, uh, where it will be a, a service stop where you have toilet facilities that you'll be able to use as little cafeterias um, to get a, a bite to eat. Um, if you do want something and just a chance to stretch your legs. Uh, but one of the main reasons we stop there is for the uh, the drivers themselves, as uh, there's legal requirements with the length of uh, driving that we're allowed to do in this country, and it's quite strictly monitored. Um, so we usually will have to stop here for between so after 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So once we get closer, we'll be able to confirm uh, the exact time that we need to stop there to uh, obey the rules. And uh, once we've uh, taken advantage of that stop, we will be continuing on towards uh, Luxembourg. And again, it's about two to two and a half hours uh, drive to get there. Uh, once we arrive in Luxembourg, we'll be dropped off in the centre. And then we'll walk up with myself to the main square, um, where you will then proceed to have some free time. Uh, again, it depends on the time that we get there, um, from sort of maybe 45 minutes up to an hour, uh, and then you get a chance to have a little explore by yourselves, um, uh, and also to, to grab, again, a bite to eat uh, in one of the many cafes that are around there before. We then meet once again with your local guide for a walking tour around the centre of Luxembourg to see all the sites that are there. The walking tour usually takes around about uh, an hour or so, um, just again depending on the timings of the day, before we meet back um, at the buses. And then we'll proceed on down to the, uh, the Memorial Cemetery for a, a short guided tour uh, before continuing then onwards down to the Viking Edy, um, which is going to be docked in Schweik. Um, usually we dock in Trier itself, but Schweik is a, an area in about 10 to 15 minutes drive just outside of Trier. There is a, a festival been taking place and a big fun fair uh, at the area that we usually dock at. So um, if we tried to dock there, you'd all be riding on the, uh, the Ferris wheel and the fun and games and the lights flashing all night with not a lot of space to move. So we've, uh, we've changed our docking station just uh, 10 to 15 minutes down the road to Schweik. And we should get to the Viking ED uh, between sort of five to half past five this evening. Now, once on board, um, I'll go over all of this again uh, throughout the, the, the journey later on, so don't think you have to take it all in uh, this morning. I know it's still early. Um, but once we get to the ship, uh, we'll get you all on board. Um, you do a, a quick check-in, just showing your passports. Uh, your bags will all be offloaded by the team um, at the ship, and then they'll be taken to your staterooms for you. Uh, we, you a chance your rooms will be ready for you upon arrival. Uh, we'll have a little welcome introduction uh, early evening from the uh, from the captain and the hotel team and myself, of course, uh, running through uh, a few of the uh, the must know um, bits of information for your time on board the Edie, uh, and I'll run through a little quick um, bit of information about our day tomorrow, and then we'll have our dinner round about sort of seven to half past seven this evening. So that is how your day is going to plan out. It's a full day, but we need to get used to these because there's going to be a lot of full days over the, the, the next week. It's a, it's a good old itinerary. Are we all prepared for that? Yeah. Oh yes, that's why we're here after all. 
We're explore. We're not on holiday. We're here. We're explorers. We're world travellers now. So there's some beautiful destinations and beautiful spots to visit. Days here in Paris. I know some of you came a few days ago, and then uh, some others came on Wednesday. Yes. Yes. All lots of exploring, and it's been hot. Yes. Oh, hot. Oh. Very. You chose a record-breaking time of year to visit. And it's one of these uh, destinations over in uh, France and Germany that they're not, not that great with the air conditioning in a lot of these venues. So you tend to cook a little bit even when you're indoors. But the Pullman had some nice crisp air conditioning in their rooms. Not so lucky for some of the locals that live here, mind. I used to live in uh, a lot of hot destinations and I had a, one of those stands with a fan on it and I used to just get a bag of ice from the fridge <laughs> and hang it in front to, <laughs> to blow cold air into my tiny apartment. Smart. <clears throat> Not so good when it drips on the wires though. <laughs> a, few, a few dangerous afternoons. You can see the, the fun and games that we have with the traffic over here. Yeah. Yes. Wow. But as we've already said, Carl is one of the best, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but he is more used to the German roads than the French ones, yeah? <laughs> Last the lack on part. Which is well seen in the did, uh, did everybody experience the uh, the most exciting bit of travel uh, at lunchtime for the break with my friends and we went to do some sightseeing at the Arc de Triomphe and uh, for some crazy reason 
which looking back now is ridiculous we decided <laughs> instead of using the underpass to cross the road we oh we, we took the direct route oh, no. <laughs> oh my god there was five of us that started and then uh, five of us finished so we, we all made it <laughs> but it was a, a very interesting time also interestingly enough it was uh, my very first time i don't know if you know but uh up until about 10 years ago the uh, the legal age for for drinking over in, in france was only 16. Yes. Uh, you couldn't have hard liquor or spirits, but beer, wine, beer. cider you could have. So a bunch of 16-year-old schoolboys coming on a trip, our first stop was to the, the market. <laughs> and I, I believe I paid five francs for a, a liter carton of red wine, which I believe in these days is about 60 cents. <laughs> so you can guess what it tastes like. <laughs> and it's not the reason I don't remember much about the trip. It was almost 25 years ago, so that's the, that's the reason. But they changed that about 10 years ago, so it's now uh, 18, the same as uh, many of the other countries uh, around Europe. just uh, double check um, I know the majority of you will have uh, received your quiet boxes over the last uh, couple of days um, just with the tours that you've been on but for, is there anybody that uh, that chose not to join any of the tours that does not yet have the quiet box listening devices is there a couple of you there anymore just have a look little show of hands anybody just the two Perfect. I'll get them to you so that the quiet boxes is the, the little re receiver, so you take them with them with you all the way until you get to Prague, and then you'll be uh, handing them into us after your final tour. Uh, when you get to the ship, uh, you have a little charger docking station, which you have in your stateroom, um, so every night you can, uh, you can pop them into the chargers, ready and fresh for the next day. <coughs> Passing the Pont Neuf and Ile de la Cité. Yeah, I was going to say, this has to be some, uh, some... Well, I stand corrected, this is Eel Saint Louis. Not Eel, but us. Eel Saint Louis. 
In the, in the evening at night time on the hour where they did the twinkling and the yes. sparkling of the yes. lights? Yes. yes. Now, did anybody take pictures and photographs and videos of it? Uh, yes. 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 Now, <laughs> what I've just been, I don't know how true this is, I might need to investigate this, but I've just been told by Carl that he, he read an article uh, in the last uh, few days and apparently this is classed as, uh, as art. So therefore, as, a, as, as art, uh, this is subject to copyright. So if you post it on your Instagram or your Facebook on a, on a public account, um, then if they, they stumble across it, uh, it could be seen as copyright infringement. So it might be a little tip just in case you're planning on uh, sharing too much of your sparkling Eiffel Tower uh, to, to edge on caution. I don't know how... Um, We'll find out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, uh, <laughs> how much they scrutinise American uh, Facebook accounts, but, you know, <laughs> it's an interesting fact either way. Yeah, somebody else told us that, that too. Yeah, we heard that. Oh, we, we get confirmation of that down yeah, at the front here? Yeah, and mine's here. posted. And we get, we've got a post out at the front, so by the end of the cruise, if you've been fined and taken away in handcuffs, we'll... Uh, <laughs> the French military. It's okay, we'll be over the border in a couple of hours. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how they were going to police you two. But I guess they get this, just put in a copyright. If that's what they do. Yeah. No, no. YouTube is big on copyrights. It's not like I'm gonna worry about it. I had one picture on my Instagram account. Yeah. Yeah. From the night. I put it away. <laughs> so much stuff on yeah. 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 I mean it's nice in Berlin to have used this Facebook and Instagram and whatever. But there's so many holes to look for it. No, I think the most of us, I think, uh, we are behind us. Stay in the 
well, so here we stay in Belmont. So that it's the middle for us when we make the disembarkation to Paris. From the hotel to our hotel, from the hotel to the guest to our hotel, is one hour, one hour fifty. Then we can, we can, we have the tours to Versailles or Monet Gardens, Belmont, that it's very close to our hotel. It's a normal deal, it's the two it's, it's very far off, but for this mixture, with the next day, can we go to Paris? It's the nearest possibility for us. Just checking, everybody okay for the temperature on the bus? Yes. Yeah. Just give us a shout if it's too hot or too cold and we can...